We will burn you and burn Asuro to ashes. If you just send military or soldiers to Niger Republic, coup plotters won. My people, now waiting on I get to say concerning waiting, then just talk about right now or waiting uh, the warning that has just come to Bola Ahmed Tunubu this very morning. I tell you, this warning is coming directly from the army chief, uh, uh, the, from the army chief in Niger Republic. In fact, this guy, the verse. Um, as it is right now, Niger Republic is about to be taken over by the military, and the military are taking it up by force and by fire. They say that no way and no room for civilian governments anymore that the democracy of the niger republic is completely lost but Tunubu is trying to do something to uh, to to uh, to save that very uh, decision so as it is the the army chief is challenging Bolamet Tunubu and giving him a very serious warning to stay back to stay back and to stay clear from that very action because uh, to him um, it may be very very tough if each year if it does um, take such an action. Not be smart, my people, my people. The story don't really die apart <laughs> as they go. So, okay, let's quickly um, let's quickly look into this matter and know what and what need to be done to save the um, this very issue. All right, this is morning news. Niger military leaders issued a strong warning to ECOWAS, an economic community of the West African states, led by President Mohamed Ari and also now Bola Tunubu of Nigeria, about sending troops to the Republic of Niger. General Abdurrahman Tichanani, popularly known as Omar Tichani, Along with the chief of Niger Presidential Guard, has taken charge after the recent coup, during which the country's elected president Mohamed Bazoum was detained by the military. In a statement broadcasted in Niger Nations Television, the military leader firmly opposed any military intervention. They emphasized their authority in the current situation and urged ECOWAS to refrain from any action that could escalate tension further. They have warned Parliament Tunubu to stay clear or else his country will be burnt to ashes. It's important for all parties involved to find a peaceful and diplomatic resolution to the crisis in Niger to ensure stability and the well-being of its people. The objectives of the ECOWAS meeting is to approve a plan of aggression against Niger through an imminent military intervention in Niamey in collaboration with other African countries that are non-members of ECOWAS and certain Western countries. The military spokesperson Colonel Amadou Abdurrahman said. Meanwhile, during the meeting, the regional body issued a stand seven day automaton to the military junta's in Niger, urging them to reinstate President Bazoum as the democratically elected leader, or they will face a series of severe actions. Um, first of all, let them uh, take the, the, the president away from their, from their cell. That is one. And um, after that, they, they should try to um, to uh, reframe and um, take away that very military leader that was sworn in. Do you understand? And withdraw that power of autonomy from him. Because so far, that uh, swearing is still there and the power of autonomy is still there, I'm afraid. It's going to be very difficult to, um, you know, to take power back or power away from the military. Okay, so uh, my people, you can see that it's not, it's not, it's, it's, it's becoming tough and tough and tougher by the day in Niger. And the polar man Tunubu himself, we need to be very, very careful and very watchful because these guys are not smiling. 
they are ready to do anything and they can do or not do to save uh to become the uh, the head of states of that Niger Republic. All right, let's quickly hear from you and know what your take, what your opinion, and what your advice on this may be. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.